Welcome aspiring C-Shop developers. Today, we are diving into the realm of C-Shop interview questions. This video is just the beginning of our comprehensive series on C-Shop interview questions. Here's the exciting part. Every single question will be answered and explained with an examples. Let's get started. What is the difference between a class and an object in C-Sharp? A class is a blueprint or template for creating objects in C-Sharp. It defines the structure and behavior of objects of a particular type. In this example, we have a product class that represents products in our e-commerce system with properties like product ID, name, description, and price. It also has a constructor. It also has a method display product info to display the product details. Finally, our product class looks like this. An object is an instance of a class, meaning it is a concrete representation of the blueprint defined by that class. Various ways to create an object of a product class. Using a constructor. Using an object initializer. Using default constructor. Explain the concept of encapsulation. Encapsulation is the concept of bundling data, properties or fields, and the methods, functions that operate on that data into a single unit, known as a class. Access to the data is controlled through access modifiers, such as private, public, protected, and internal, which determines the visibility and accessibility of class members. In an interview, when asked about encapsulation, provide examples of access modifiers, which is our next question. What are access modifiers in c -sharp? Access modifiers in C-Sharp are keywords used to specify the visibility and accessibility of class members, such as variables, methods, and properties, within a class or between classes. They play a crucial role in controlling the scope of access to these members. There are several access modifiers in C-Sharp. Public access modifier, accessible from anywhere. In this example, the properties product ID, name, description, price field, and display info method in product class are accessible from another class, program.cs, because they are marked as public. Private access modifier, accessible only within the same class. In this example, the properties product ID, name, description, and price fields in product class are accessible only within the same class, product class, and cannot be accessed from another class. Protected access modifier, accessible within the same class and derived classes. In this example, the property name is accessible within the class and also from the my derived class book because it's marked as protected and cannot be accessed from another class. What is the role of constructors in C -sharp classes? Constructors are used to initialize the object state when it is created. They are automatically called when an object is instantiated. What is the this keyword in c -sharp and when is it typically used? The this keyword refers to the current instance of the class and is used to distinguish between instance variables and parameters with the same name. Can you have multiple constructors in a c -sharp class? Yes, a c -sharp class can have multiple constructors. Overloading constructors. Multiple constructors allow you to create objects with different sets of initial values for properties or fields. This flexibility is useful when you want to provide various ways to initialize an object. What is the difference between a static class and a non-static class in c -sharp? Static class. Cannot be instantiated, you cannot create objects, instances, of a static class. Non-static class can be instantiated using the new keyword, creating objects, instances, with unique states. Static class. All its members, fields, methods, properties, must be declared as static. Non-static class. Can have a mix of static and instance members. How is inheritance implemented in c -sharp? Provide an example. Inheritance is a fundamental concept in object-oriented programming. 
That allows you to create a new class called a derived or subclass based on an existing class called a base or superclass. The derived class inherits the properties and behaviors, fields and methods of the base class, allowing for code reuse. Inheritance in C-sharp allows a class to inherit properties and methods from another class. What is the purpose of the sealed keyword in C-sharp? How can you prevent a class from being inherited in C-sharp? The sealed keyword is used to prevent further inheritance of a class or method. Explain the concept of method overriding in C-sharp. Method overriding occurs when a derived class provides a specific implementation for a method defined in its base class. This is achieved using the virtual override. Virtual keyword. In the base class, you can mark a method as virtual. This keyword indicates that the method can be overridden by derived classes. Override keyword. In the derived class, you can use the override keyword to provide a new implementation for a method that was marked as virtual in the base class. We are creating a new book object and specifying details about the book. We are instructing it to show its details using a method called displayInfo. The displayInfo method is overriding the method from the base class. When we call this method, it displays information about the product, including the name, price, and description. After that, it executes the code within the displayInfo method inside the book class. How does c -sharp support the implementation of abstract classes and methods? An abstract class is a class that cannot be instantiated. Class Motorbike is an abstract class. So we cannot able to create an instance of the motorbike class. Abstract classes contain abstract methods that must be implemented by derived classes. Break is an abstract method. And as such, it must be implemented by all derived classes. In c -sharp, abstract methods are implicitly considered virtual. What is an interface in c -sharp? Provide an example. An interface is like a contract that specifies certain methods that must be implemented by any class that claims to follow it. In this example, we've defined an interface called high SMS service with the methods send SMS and get SMS status. Then we've created a class GOSMS provider that implements this interface by providing a valid implementation for methods send SMS and get SMS status. Next, we create an instance of the GOSMS provider class and assign it to a variable SMS service of type ISMS service. Then, we call the send SMS. We're actually invoking the send SMS method provided by the GOSMS provider class. But we're doing it through the ISMS service interface. How do you implement polymorphism in C -sharp using interfaces? Provide an example. Polymorphism is achieved by defining methods in interfaces and implementing those methods in multiple classes. Objects of different classes that implement the same interface can be used interchangeably. ISMS provider is defined as an interface which requires any implementing class to provide a send SMS method. Airtel SMS provider is a class that implements the ISMS provider interface. It provides a concrete implementation of the send SMS method specific to Airtel's SMS provider and GeoSMS provider provides a concrete implementation of the send SMS method specific to Geo's SMS provider. An instance of Airtel SMS provider is created and assigned to an ISMS provider reference, demonstrating polymorphism. This allows you to switch the SMS provider without changing the rest of your code. Can C-sharp support multiple inheritance? No, C-sharp does not support multiple inheritances for classes. Multiple inheritance is a programming language feature that allows a class to inherit from more than one class. In C-sharp, a class can inherit from only one class, single inheritance. However, C-sharp does support multiple inheritance through interfaces. Types of classes. If you want to dive deeper into the topic of types of classes, 
Don't forget to check out the detailed video in the top right corner of your screen. You can also find a direct link in the video description below. Simply click, and let's continue exploring together. I hope you found this video informative and useful in your coding journey. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below.